All right, y'all, y'all already know LDBC. So Kwame Brown and Gilbert Arenas have been doing a comp. They've been having conversations online talking about basketball. And before I get started, man, salute to them two brothers. I know they've been going back and forth on each other's platforms. And it's good to see two black men, especially re relatively young. They're in their early, early 40s, early mid 40s, being able to hash things out and talk things calmly like men. That's a good thing because it's enough, if it's enough room on here for us to all have our own opinions and we can all eat, honestly. That's why you don't really see me taking shots at particular content creators, content creators, because I mean, hey. It's enough room for everybody, right? Even if I completely disagree, as long as we keep it respectful. But nonetheless, they talking about Bronny. Now, and I'm gonna put the link in the description to their video, but Kwame's basically saying that Bronny didn't earn that, he didn't deserve that spot. And he was telling Gil, you know, you you say he the 55th overall pick, but he gets all his attention and so on and so forth. And that spot could have been used for somebody else. Now, Gil did admit that Bronny isn't NBA ready yet, but he, he just talked about like where he might be down in the future. And regardless of what people's opinions are, the fact is he was picked. Um, I also seen him on his platform telling Rashad McCants, hey, the man sold a half million dollars worth of jerseys. So when you really think about it, I mean, you know, he's a star and, you know, he didn't already earn the money. He didn't make the Lakers money more than what they paid him for his guaranteed contract. So on and so forth, right? So, but so Gil basically agreed that Bronny isn't ready, but he a star. So, you know, he going to be a star in the league. I mean, that's what that that's why he's drafted. And of course, you know, uh, Kwame doesn't understand why does Bronny have to uh, he's he's barely playing. They don't, there's no timetable when he's coming back. And then he's only playing home games in G League. So let, 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 me, let me just say this. I agree with Gil as far as Bronny's a superstar. And I'm not talking about on the court. I'm talking about just his name. And I've said this in the beginning. That's why he was drafted because Bronny can sell merchandise. My only issue with all of this, right, is the kid isn't ready. And not only is he not ready, but when you criticize him, you know, they try to shadow ban your videos and, and, and uh, you know, all, all this. You trying to force us to see something that we can't see. It's like a bad song. You ever heard a song so bad on the radio, but after maybe 30, 40 times, you're like, okay, well, the beat kind of catchy. They play the song the top of the hour and, you know, then you, you, you get to singing it a little bit or rapping it. I feel like that's what they trying to do with Bronny, but it's not going to work. And because so much backlash now he has his injury and lebron's off social media but then lebron's the same person who said Bronny's better than half the people in the league when he was watching it in the league pass and i know i keep bringing this up because repetition is the mother of all skill and some of my detractors need to hear this this is why he's held to this different standard and i mean he just they both just disappeared off social media and then you're telling me he's a star okay well fine we want to see this star play and we want to see the star earn his spot. Even if the Lakers drafted him and sent him to the G League, you wouldn't have heard nowhere near, near the backlash of, of what you of what you heard. But the problem was you, you drafted him, right? Uh, he had a second night. He's picked up and you he's in a summer league. Now, these are future Hall of Famers caught on camera saying he ain't that good. And other players... I came out and said, look, man, he ain't ready. And Charles Barkley, top 75 player, said that he don't basically the Lakers fumble fumbled the whole process with Bronny. It's a, it, it's it's became a complete circus over there, right? All this would be Bronny could change everything if he starts playing better. Bron won't catch too much hate if Bronny starts playing better. And um, I feel like Gilbert and him, you know, I get it. They gotta be more political and, and at least salute to him for saying that Bronny wasn't ready, but come on now. You know, y'all, it's, 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 and it's, it's weird. I feel like I'm stumbling over our words because it's like, we have never seen nothing like this in sports before. You can make an argument for Tim Tebow, but Tim Tebow was a way better player than Bronny James. Can we at least say that? At least Tim Tebow won a playoff game <laughs> and he's thrown for uh, multiple hundred yards several times and maybe he was in the wrong position. You know, or maybe if Tim Tebow would have came out now, you know, he would have had a, he probably would have been better at quarterback and it, it, you know, now more, more NFL teams are getting more players that can throw the ball and run the ball. And we can say this, coming out of college, Tim Tebow is one of the greatest college football players of all time. He won two national titles, a Heisman Trophy. One of his speeches was, was, uh, is part of, I think he got a statue at Florida and his, his, one of his comeback speeches or you'll never see, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but basically you'll never see us 
play the way we did ever again and all of that that's a plaque at university of florida Bronny didn't have none of that Bronny was on the bench in college and it wasn't like a, i believe it was marvin was it marvin williams that came off the bench at north carolina but then he ended up becoming the second overall pick it wasn't a scenario like that where rashad and sean may and all these other players was ahead of him even though he was the best nba prospect coming out but i really hope that Bronny. i really hope that he becomes a, a decent player even if it's overseas you know and he earns it but i don't know it, it really looks like they didn't shut him down at least maybe for the season because it, it's bad man but overall i'm glad that gil and kwame both agreed that Bronny isn't talent wise ready and that these two brothers were willing to come together could you imagine them having a show or they both going on each other's platforms you know, we all everything is better when we all work together you know especially as black men on this platform but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think